Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the channel. I am Starco Gaming and we are back with another Dragon Champion video guys. I know it's been a while but we are back and now the YouTube channel is now exclusive to Dragon Champion and the new intro, the new logo and the new YouTube banner. So welcome to Starco Gaming version dragon champion so uh today guys uh, well we have the renara event that's coming in a, a little bit less than two weeks so we need to start talking about this event it needs to start talking about those characters that you guys are going to use and you know try to guide you guys on how to build those characters to be ready for that renara event we're going to be covering those characters uh for seven stars event but if you're actually planning uh you know if you're not going to be ready for seven stars uh you can build those characters to five stars and achieve uh the recruitment at five stars on the renara she is a five star unlock so uh, you know everything you take in this video in this video series that we're gonna be talking about uh, for the Renara event uh, you know you can downgrade all those uh, setups to five stars and end up with uh, you build them the same way and just uh, succeed in unlocking unlocking a Renara at five star which is actually what I do have on my current account on my real account not this account because this is the test server but my real account that is what I have in the uh, you know she's kicking ass even at five stars so even though she can do rage she can still do everything else in the game but before we get into uh, the first build guys which is going to be patriarch patriarch queen uh if you're a new player to the game and you are level 15 or below make sure to use the promo code starco to get to get ten dollars worth of freebies to do so it's very simple you go in settings Use promo code and you enter the word Starco as you can see on the left section of your screen. Uh, enter the word and press OK and you will be awarded $10 worth of free stuff which is uh, which is always awesome. So here, let's jump in here, let's find Mr. Petriarchqui, here, here he is. Um, we're not going to be covering the artifact part guys because it is not out yet and uh, most of you guys that's actually watching that that don't have an to seven star will not have the resources to actually build an artifact for patriarch quiz so we're gonna totally ignore the artifact part for this renera event on all the characters we build but after that we're gonna start covering the artifact on each of those characters when we do those character guide by the way so uh what's important with patriarch quiz first of all uh, the leadership you're going to be using on the Renara event is not Patriarch Kui leadership. So if you're only planning to build these characters for uh, this event, you do not have to level up Patriarch Kui uh, leadership because we will be using King Lee leadership. And it is a much better leadership for that event for full team of pandas. A Patriarch Square leadership is more built for like when you do the challenge, uh, all healer challenge. You want to put Kui as a leader with his leadership level up to give your team a huge shield advantage. But that's pretty much the only situation that this leadership is is good for. Everything else, uh, if you're running solo healer with Kui as a healer, this leadership is terrible just for him. You need to have two or three healers in your team setup to actually be worth uh, using that leadership so that already uh, barred the leadership from you know the skill priority to get to level six because that's always what we start with so what are the two skills two three four skills sometimes uh that are very important for patriarch Kui to get to level six well for him there's only two skills by the way guys you have the passive here not passive uh, it's third skill, my bad. Uh, it's third skill is a very, very, very important to get to level 6 because all allies gain an armor increase, which gives you a huge advantage in damage reduction, and it reduces the initial cooldown by 1. So, uh, you get that ability ready earlier than before. Then, if you actually only have it at level 5 or at level 3, uh, level 4, level 3, you know, you get the point here. So, 
by like here uh, your cooldown is you have to wait two turn you have to wait one turn and this one it's ready right when, right when the fart the fight starts so you can use that on turn number one with this guy which is actually what you want to do so this skill is one of the most important because this is the massive buff it's going to give to the team it's going to apply armor increase to all allies for two turn which gives you a huge 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 advantage then the second skill that's very important it is this biggest healing skills we can call it like that shield skills which is fortitude uh, giving a lie a shield equal to 700 percent of patriarch qui magic damage and remove to debuff from an ally so this skill is a huge 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 shield and you want to give it you want to get it to level six because you get one extra debuff remove and 120 percent extra shield size if you don't have it at if you have it only at level five you're gonna get a shield equal to 580% of Patriarch Queen magic damage and you will only remove one debuff from the ally and in some fight you get debuff a lot so having this at 2 debuff and 700% is a very 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 important. Now if we talk about the other skill I have to say uh, in third position that will be the skills that's the most important for me because uh, you will need to achieve uh, the the stage 15 on the healer challenge and i think that leadership is just so freaking important so in my opinion this will be in the third position to get uh to a level to level six in my opinion uh, all light healing abilities apply a shield equal to 45 percent of the health to heal in all attack by allies from the order restore their shield uh by 20 percent of the damage dealt which is pretty pretty damn good too uh obviously it is not bad so a healer or a order uh team that can actually do the job but in a future video we're going to talk talk about kingly leadership and you will understand why kingly leadership is more important to be honest and then if we go with the passive here i think this passive at level four of four is really what's the most important uh, because it's the chance to heal. Uh, when applying a shield, Patriarch Qui has a 40% chance to heal an ally by 15% uh, if it's there, 20% 20, 20 there, 20% of shields. You know, it's not a big healing, so it's not very, very, very important. But I like to have it at least at level 4 to actually give you an extra chance to apply a little bit of extra healing, which is not going to happen often. So it's not really a shield, uh, not a shield, but an ability to be uh, focused on obviously and then you have the first skill the first skill is it's pretty pretty trash skill to be honest uh, it does not do much damage it does not do much healings uh, it does not do much so getting this skill level four it's good enough in my opinion but if we have it at level six you can see here deal 220 percent magic damage to an enemy a 50 percent chance for king lee to and a random ally to gain a uh, shield equal to 50 percent damage deal and that damage deal is so ridiculously low that the shield getting apply is a joke it's literally a joke so it's not really an ability that you focus on uh, I'll have to say get it to level 5 if you can uh, that's a good place to have it but nothing else than that it's really not an ability that's important to level up so now we did the abilities guys next we're gonna be jumping into the runes the runes are actually pretty damn simple on this guy you only have two HP runes to go with the King Lee leadership which again we're gonna cover in a future video and then you have four speed so this guy can go as often as possible to reapply his second and third skill as often as possible and the thing I might have forgot about uh, the skill rotation on his ability is pretty simple you're gonna be using your third skill to apply it on cooldown to apply your um, armor increase to everybody and then you're gonna be using your singing skill on the person that needs the shield or if nobody needs the shield on the tank so the tank has a bigger shield and that is pretty much it and then you have your first skill as a filler whenever the other two skills are not available 
So here you want to use four speed uh, room because you want to get this this guy's speed as high as possible. Like I said, uh, getting it as close as possible at 200 is good. Like you can see here, I only got it at 175, but my runes in the secondary option don't have a lot of speed, so that's really hurting me. Uh, normally with three star blue runes uh, on HP and speed here, you should be able to if you have good secondary stats on them. Uh, to actually get it around 200 but at least 180 plus which is pretty much where you want to have it so what's important this guy what's our stats we have the speed you have the hp to go with the leadership of king lee and then you have tenacity tenacity because you don't want this guy to get stunned you don't get, want this guy to get debuffed too much uh, get a uh, armor decrease apply and get murder uh, all that thing are all those things are very important to to avoid so you want to get so the skill priority pretty much is speed hp then uh tenacity so you can see a little bit when i'm going with the primaries here uh if you know primaries here a little bit so the first primary which is the northeast uh you want to go with speed primary now if you can get get tenacity and speed and health as secondary that's obviously optimal but here we did not focus on that it's just a test server we just build those characters to show you a little bit guys how it works so uh, here we have speed as primary which is what's important uh here you want to have at the south uh sorry south runes you want to have hp as a primary uh, you can see as secondary we actually had a good run here we have tenacity and speed which is a really 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 decent so hp as primary is really important in the northwest you want to have tenacity as primary because tenacity will reduce reduce the chance that you can actually have debuff applied to you which is a huge advantage but you can see the rest we have elt yes which is good on that but the rest is pretty bad damage we don't care shield we don't really care although it's actually decent shield here a thousand shield it's pretty strong uh but yes if we had some speed here that will be in tenacity that will be better in my opinion but anyway the three primary you want to have is speed hp and tenacity and the two sets in my opinion that are the best you want to have a set of hp so two hp runes and a set of speed so four speed runes and that's pretty much covered the whole thing with this villa obviously if you're gonna play him in battleground which will be uh coming not too long after this video is released uh it's gonna be a whole different setup this setup we're talking about today guys we're talking about getting these characters ready for the renara event not for battleground not for arena uh, not for those kind of game mode we are really building these characters in this video well, in pretty much all my video before the legendary event for those legendary events. So if you plan to play these characters in something different, well, we're going to cover that in the future. So if you guys have any question or feedback concerning this character, uh, make sure to uh, drop a comment in the comment section, guys. I will get back to you uh, as soon as I get a chance. As always, uh, thank you for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get notified every time we post a new video. So you guys enjoy your life in Dragon Champion, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.